Hi, I'm Serge Weiss. I'm uh, a student at the University, of, for University Politecnica Bucharest. And in my work, I've been, I have been coordinated by Mihai Karabash. So, uh, why do we want to improve the compatibility in BeHive, uh, block hire devices? Well, for now, uh, what we have support for is raw disk files. What's the problem with that? Uh, like the speaker from John, right? From uh, uh, VMM, VMM said, these files are pretty limited. So yeah, you can you have sparse, uh, sparse files, but on disk they appear as really large files, and if you are to copy them, then uh, you will have a large footprint on the disk. Furthermore, they lack nice features like snapshotting or compression, and uh, by using uh, just raw files, we lack compatibility with uh, other hypervisors. For example, vi uh, VirtualBox uses by default VMDK. Uh, VMware uses many, many image formats. And if somebody, let's say, would want to, to transition from uh, one of the other hypervisors to this one, well, you wouldn't have uh, image files. So, to solve this pro uh, problem, uh, Marcel Werner uh, developed lib libsk. Uh, what's the uh, lib libsk is an abstraction layer that goes over the block IF, the block interface. But sadly, it uh, has never been pushed upstream. It has been abandoned for, uh, I don't know, it's kind of like five years. There has been no commit to it. And uh, uh, it was uh, Marcelo Araujo's idea to use it to implement QCAUTO. Sadly, uh, Marcelo couldn't, uh, didn't have time for this, and uh, I was tasked with uh, bringing it, uh, bringing libvdsk up to speed and uh, implementing QCAUTO as a proof of concept. And let's see how libvdsk works. So let's say that we have a uh, no, uh, system call that does, uh, that is an IO request, for example, an open. This goes uh, from the generic block file in the guest to the uh, block device implementation and uh, from there it is sent to the block interface in a queue for, uh, for the device and from that queue uh, a worker thread would print out of the queue and process it. If it's a, a read it would uh, do a read from the image file. If it was the right, it would write on in the image file. The problem is that this is a very limited approach. So uh, the solution for this is that we have a generic call uh, for open. For example, it's VDSK underscore open. And in uh, the libvdsk library, we re uh, using the libvdsk library, we register different callbacks for different uh, for different uh, image formats. For example, we have uh, we have just copied. I mean, Marcel uh, Marcel copied the implementation for the raw for the raw image format uh, operations. And now I have implemented the implemented the operations for the QCAUTO image file. So the call let's say VDSK open gets here goes into the library. In the library. Uh, calls the function that was implemented for the speci specific image format. And why did I choose QCAUTO? Because it is really popular, it, uh, it has many, many implementations for VMM, Q, uh, QMO obviously. Uh, it, I, I wrote in my paper for, for uh, Asia BSD code, uh, there are some others like Palacios, which has a really easy to understand the uh, implementation of QCAL and based on these different implementations I adapted them and I I uh, put them in uh, libvdsk. I chose QCAL2 also because it has snapshotting uh, it has the snapshotting feature and our goal is to to use QCAL2 to implement uh, disk saving for the save and restore feature so uh, the disk, when we save uh, the virtual machine state now, uh, is saved and the machine, uh, if you continue to run the machine, the disk could get corrupted. If you 
reload the machine, if you restore the machine. If we snapshot the disk using QCapture, for example, we would be able to, uh, to restore the disk state too, so it wouldn't get corrupted anymore. And that is the end goal for the implementation of QCapture, to implement it in, uh, uh, in uh, our save and restore feature. And this, I've talked about this, the current state. So uh, with this key, I've include, I have uh, included it in uh, uh, the in our branch of Beehive of FreeBSD and the Beehive. Uh, so it's integrated into the uh, into the build system and all, all that. I've uh, extended the library. Um, before it was very limited; it, it supported only the raw disk file. And now I have implemented. Uh, I have added a void pointer. Uh, to some private data, and this private data can be pri uh, data that is specific to any implementation. For example, for QCAP2, I, I have I store there pointers to the different layers of the QCAP2 format, uh, about which I'll be talking in the presentation for Asia BSD Con. And I have also implemented open, close, read, write, and flush for QCAP2. Uh, what I didn't write on the slides, because I haven't tested this yet fully, is that I can also read and write from snapshots. So if using an external tool, you snapshot the state of the, of the QCAO to image, I can read and write to the snapshot instead of writing to the base file. But as I have not implemented a way in Beehive to snapshot uh, the, the image file, I uh, haven't gone and tested this, but it is there in the core of the code. And what I plan to do is uh, further test the performance and the correctitude of the code, upstream the work as it is now with uh, to what I have implemented, and then add support for snapshot creation and integrate this support into our uh, save and restore branch. And this is uh, this is what I have done. I would like to thank Matthew Grooms who has financed this project, uh, Marcelo Araujo, uh, and Darius and Elena Mihelescu who have listened to my bitching and moaning throughout <laughs> the process of debugging this code. So, do you have any questions? Uh, by me, no. By me, no. Though, but if you want to implement something and make a pull request, yeah, sure. I, the interface I've read, uh, I've rewritten the interface to be open to other formats. So what you have to do, uh, sadly, I do not. Uh, I uh, do not have the. I'm not on the branch, with the code on it. But what you have to do is basically write a. VMD, uh, VMDK, for example, if you want to support VMDK, you have to write a VMDK header, which uh, in which you register all your callbacks, and you have to write the callback functions for probe, read, write, open, close, all of those. That's how you extend the feature. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you very much.